So welcome everyone. Here we are today with Kathy Petkesh from the United States and she's a franchise specialist. And today we're going to talk about a few topics like time management, uh, personal branding and how to start your own business as a franchise. So Kathy, thank you for being here with us today. And um, so first of all, I'd like to thank you for taking the time to, to help young women uh, improve themselves and just to get better at these soft skills that are really important um, to be able to create a happy and balanced life. So I know that you've been in the corporate world for quite a long time and uh, uh, you decided to jump out of it and start your own business. So I would be really interested to learn more about your thought process and how did you come to this decision um, and uh, basically how were you so brave to jump out of this security and go to a more risky but maybe more adventurous um, life. Okay, thank you, Anna. I'm, I'm really excited to be on the call and I just enjoy helping people reach their goals and um, I always say it's your professional goals, your financial goals obviously and I, I think it's very important that you also as you're planning those goals you also look at your personal life and how you want your your business to fit into your life. Mostly when we have a quote job uh, we kind of have to alter our personal life to fit into the business and I, I, if you're going to take this big step to start your own business, I, I suggest that you kind of make the business fit into your life versus the other way around. I think that's very, very key. So, yes, I was in the corporate world for about 20 years. So I'm older than a lot of our audience today. So maybe you can gain from some of my experience. I had a great career with Hewlett Packard. And um, actually, and I think they helped me make the decision to move on um, back in 2000. They um, went through a lot of structural changes and uh, they started offering uh, early retirement packages. And I considered at that time it was a combination of your years of service and your age if you qualified. And I wasn't ready mentally, financially, or personally to make this big Step. So I, I didn't sign up for early retirement, but I told myself next time they offer it, I will be. And five years after that, they did offer another package, and I was ready because the first time it went around, I made a plan, and I did. I looked at myself professionally, uh, financially, and personally, and where I wanted to go. And uh, I hired a financial advisor which was very, very key. I still have the same gentleman I was working with several years ago. He knows me. He understands me. He plays my devil's advocate when I come up with a new and crazy idea. And believe me, I've had lots of crazy ideas and kind of helps me see reality. And then if he's, um, if I say, well, yeah, it's crazy, but I'm going to do it. He, he supports me and helps me put together a plan. So when I took my package, I decided, okay, what's next in my life? And um, I always wanted to ha live close to the ocean and do my own thing. So actually, I, um, I was in Atlanta, Georgia at the time, and I moved to a beach community on the coast and bought an existing business. And this was very key for me because I started working with franchising also and educated myself on the franchise world which is a little bit different than starting a business from scratch. Well, it's a lot different from starting a business from scratch. And it's different from buying an existing business. And I wanted to, as I was coaching people on how to start a business, I really wanted to be able to walk the talk, so to speak. So I bought an existing business and I ran it for five years. And in that time frame, I really was able to make comparisons between what it takes to start a business from scratch and what's the difference in starting a franchise? So I basically, why did I make this step? Is because I wanted to control my own destiny. I wanted to, I'm a control freak at times. I'm a very independent person. And so I was motivated because I had been in the corporate world and now is the time for me, as I said, to fit 
of my work every day into my personal life. So that was my motiv motivation. Um, and I've really enjoyed it. I've uh, been doing my own thing for about mm, 13 years now. I have bought and sold a business um, and I am independently employed in helping individuals look at franchise opportunities in order to start a business on their own. Mm. That's really interesting and it sounds like you need to do a lot of networking to meet new clients and uh, to keep the relationship with your clients. So uh, could you tell us a bit about uh, how do you network? Do you have any tips or tricks how to, you know, find the right contacts, how to start a conversation at a networking event or anything like like that, anything useful that we could use to to um, reach a broader network and find the right people at the right time. Yeah, that's, that's very true. Um, if you have a business and it's a retail location, people know who you are or they know what's in that store. But if you, quote, work from home or don't have a retail location, people really don't know you, who you are or what you do. So networking is the way that I find clients. And how do I network? Well, first of all, I join a lot of business associations, um, city chambers, and there I get involved. I get involved. I don't just attend the meetings. Uh, there's a lot of different committees in these chambers and associations. So I become involved. I become very involved also in volunteering in the community. The idea is to be out there. and. Obviously, if I'm helping people start a business, I'm looking for people with that desire. But you don't walk into a networking meeting and say, hey, would you like to buy a business? That's, that's not the way it works. What you do is you go in and you introduce yourself and you ask them the question, you know, what do you do and what's, what's interesting about you?